this section, we are going to talk about the art of presenting solutions. And it sounds really easy, but it gets very, very complex on set and during the tech scout of presenting solutions uh, in the best light to hopefully get it over the line with whoever is, uh, you know, whoever has presented friction against some idea or some solution. There's always going to be multiple interests at stake, whatever decision is made, right? If you want to work fast, there's going to be people who are put out. If you want to work slow, there's going to be people who are put out. There's going to be that push-pull on every single tech scout, so on every single production. So you need to know exactly how and when to present your solutions, and you get better with time and experience, of course, but Having this basic understanding, which we're going to talk about here, should help you uh, get better at presenting solutions. So the tech scout process is really, it's a four-way conversation between producer, director, first AD, and a cinematographer. Uh, of course, everyone else is involved. There's a whole m lot more people uh, on your typical tech scout. But really, that's where the, the, the high-level information is passing through those individuals. And that's really where the conversation starts. Um, so if something does come up, uh, I would say, number one, there is nothing worse than uh, if everything hasn't been cleared before the tech scout, there's nothing worse than bickering between those individuals on a tech scout to kill a mood of a set before it even starts, to kill any sort of creativity before it even starts. You want to hide that stuff as much as you can from the crew or keep them from it as much as you can. Uh, but you have to know, like, if you have gone through the experience of this pre-production process and you know there are pinpoints, you have to pass that stuff on to your keys so that you know, the team that you're responsible for, that you've brought onto this, they need to know where the pinpoints are going to be, where the pain points are going to be, so that they don't step in it, so that they don't look foolish, so that they don't say something that's uh, going to put them in a bad light, which then puts you in a bad light. So just be aware of the relationships and how things get tackled in this tech scout process, right? Again, as a cinematographer, you want to be solving problems. So try and figure out what those problems are going to be before they get presented to you. And in order to solve the problems, you need to know all that information, right? Your, your keys aren't going to have access to uh, how much the budget should be, uh, how much uh, they have available to them, the kind of time. All that stuff is foreign to them until they get up to speed. So it's your job to bring them up to speed as quick as they can be. So when it comes down to it and you're trying to get creative with solutions, when you're trying to solve problems and elevate the visuals as much as you can, there's going to be a point where the producers, the production managers, where they simply have to say no for budget reasons, right? And I like to push that to the very edge. You need to clearly define the sandbox that you're going to be playing in for this specific commercial. So in order to do that, you need to push it too far and have them say, no, we can't do that. So I always like to have two plans. I like to have the big plan that we would do regardless of the budget and have them pull you back, right? Because that's when you can say, okay, uh, this is what I would do. If we were in here, uh, I've talked to the director. This is the brief that, he's, that he or she has given me. Uh, this is the direction that we want to go in. This is what I would do. And you start laying it out. And very quickly, you'll see the production manager, the producer. If you're way off base, they'll start to pull you back in, hopefully if they're a good producer, right? There's nothing then going through the entire tech scout process with your team coming up with a plan only to find out later that they don't have the resources to make that plan a possibility. They don't have the budget to bring on the people or to bring on the crew necessary. Like that is a sign of a very inexperienced producer and production company when they will just let you ramble on and make the tech scout process um, basically worthless. So you need to uh, have, a, have a, a broad understanding of the budget level that you're working with and what's expected. And you should have that just through talking uh, early on in the pre-production process with the production and the producer and the, the director. You should have a gauge of where they're going to go. But I always like to have a big plan, but then you have to have a backup plan. You have to have plan B for every single setup. You need to have, well, this is what I would like to do, and this is what we can do. And both of those plans, before they get presented, before you say this is a possibility, uh, check those out with your keys, right? As the director and the first AD are, as you land at a location and they start going through, well, this is the process, this is the schedule, this is the shots that we'd like to get. Just be having that conversation with your keys going, okay, is this doable in the time that we have? What do we think? Is there any way that we can do it quicker? Come up with a plan that is actually executable. So when you present it, you don't have to say, you know, you don't have to look like a dumbass and say, well, what do you think? Can we actually do this? No, it's already, you've already vetted the idea. You already can do it. You know your limitations. You know what you can get away with. And the only way you can do that is by having that conversation and, and putting it to the keys and then trusting in them to be able to deliver what they're saying. 
I think one of the biggest aspects to remember on the Tech Scout, especially for cinematographers, I mean, it goes for everybody on the crew, but especially for cinematographers, for people at the top that are setting the tone for the entire way that the production is going to operate, then it's really, really important. If you see something that is going to make a big impact on the project and you have an idea or you have, uh, whether it's schedule or location or direction or time of day, whatever it is that will make a giant impact, you have to fight for that. Now is the time to fight for that. Now is the time to say, this is why I'm here to make these decisions. Uh, if you will listen to me, this is why I would do it that way, right? I am, uh, as the cinematographer, you are the person who is translating the visuals, translating the language to the visuals. You are the person who has the expertise in the technical side, in the creative side, in the managerial side of things. You know what is possible within a day with the, given your restraints, that's why you're getting paid. So if something comes up, this is the time to fight for it. That being said, if you present your argument, if you present your ideas, and it doesn't get accepted, it doesn't get passed, and they have to go another direction for some unforeseen reason or for budget or for time or for whatever it is, uh, you need to drop that and move on and get behind whatever solution that you come up with, right? You got to get behind it. You got to get motivated. You got to get the enthusiasm back. It's not, if your idea doesn't come off or if they don't go for it, it's not a sit there and sulk thing because that's going to trickle down to the entire production. It's about fighting for your ideas, and as soon as an idea is accepted as this is what we're going with, this is the plan, you need to drop your old idea and get right behind the new idea. You need to fully embrace whatever is coming down from above, right? You can present it, you can fight for it, you can get upset while the debate is going on, but as soon as the majority rules, as soon as a decision is made, that's when uh, you know your role as a cinematographer takes precedent over your thoughts takes precedent over your creative idea or your technical expertise, whatever it is that was back there, now is the time to, to get behind the idea and make it as good as it can because that decision is coming and gone. So really important part in the tech scout process is understanding when to fight, how to fight, the art of persuasion, uh, how to present an idea. And the better that you can get at that, the more likely it is that you're going to see those solutions end up on the screen.